Hi, I am Dr. Jatin. I am a senior consultant in the vascular and neurovascular interventions department at SL Raija Fortis Hospital, Bombay. I deal with vascular interventions and neurovascular interventions. In the field of neurovascular interventions, we deal with keratoid angioplasties, aneurysms, AVMs, strokes. We also deal with onco interventions. We deal with peripheral vascular interventions. We deal with venous interventions. We deal with uterine artery embolizations. We deal with nephro interventions. Today, my topic of discussion is going to be peripheral vascular interventions because SL Raheja is a pioneer in diabetic foot treatments. When it comes to peripheral vascular interventions, we deal with peripheral vascular diseases causing diabetic foot ulcers or claudication pains. Patient comes to Raheja with a non-healing ulcer. Most of these patients are referred from all over India with kind of a non-healing ulcer. When a non-healing ulcer comes to a diabetic foot surgeon, he refers it to us for vascular interventions. When I say vascular interventions, we deal with blockages in the blood vessel which is supplying your foot. Predominantly, the main medicine for your foot to heal is your own blood. As long as the blood is not able to reach the foot area, the ulcer doesn't heal and the patient has developed sclerotication pain leading into a diabetic foot ulcer. We do peripheral vascular disease treatment like balloon angioplasty, stenting, arthrectomy devices. So multiple procedures are done to re revascularize the peripheral vascular disease and ultimately the foot heals. So the main campaign at SL Raheja of Fortis Hospital is save the limbs. We also do get patients with venous ulcers, which also is a predominantly common factor with patients with non-treated varicose vein patients. In such patients, we give them a daycare procedure in which we do multiple procedures like endovenous laser ablation, vena seal, radiofrequency ablation, and sclerotherapy. So the predominant aim at Raheja Hospital is none of these patients would require an amputation. If at all amputation is required, that's the last option given to every patient who walks into this hospital corridor. So at Raheja, at vascular interventions, we make sure that your main goal is to save your limbs. Thank you.